the power of the Lord is already is there abides in you. This is what Apostle Paul said. Jesus Christ already handed over this glory to everybody. That is what Apostle Paul said. The Christ is in you, the hope of glory, the presence of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, the salvation, the entire um, the, the uh, resurrection power is sitting in your heart. Praise the Lord. Today, before we end this session, I want to request to all the people, this glory, this power, this presence will be coming to you in your life. Our God wants to make a transformation from your um, normal life, to, from your normal body or normal life, more normal mind, from your heart to the spiritual level. Praise the Lord. All the ladies and gentlemen, get ready to participate in this word of God today. You will get a transformation from your flesh to the glorious level in the heaven, heavenly places. That is what you can experience the presence of the Lord. So everybody, please join with us. You can enjoy the presence of the Lord. And let our Holy Spirit fill with more anointing and power. So, so shake the nation, UK, inviting Evangelist Subi uh, to start the praise and worship. Another 30 minutes time from now onwards, you are invited, Evangelist. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we ready to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Come on, let's give him all the glory this evening. For he deserves all the glory and all the praise. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. You are a mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, sing with me this morning and praise his holy name. Amen. What a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve, oh what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we Oh, what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve, angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve, he's a miracle working God, he's a miracle working God, he's the Alpha. A miracle, he's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle working God. A miracle, he's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's the Alpha.
under the new hymn. What a mighty God we, oh what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we, oh what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, yeah. Father, Father, 
living waters, let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. Oh, my cares and burdens unto you, I will fly. Yeah. 
He has done great things. He has done great things. So great. He has done great things. Thank you, Jesus. He has done great things. Let his holy name. We bless your holy name. Bless your name. We bless your holy your holy name. Oh, we bless your holy name, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We bless your holy name, Lord. We give you glory and we give you praise. Command your soul to bless the Lord tonight. Let every part of you bless the Lord. Let your mind, let your spirit, let your body, let your soul bless his name, bless his holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship is finished at the earliest time. I think so. Praise the Lord. It was glorious worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful worship, powerful worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always we have to wait. Nowadays, the last week onwards, I'm getting so much inspiration from my heart. Spend more time with the worship. So when I wake up yesterday in the morning also, yesterday evening, and also I was spending more time with the worship, praise and worship. The more I spend the time with the worship, praise and worship, the more inspiration of God, the presence of God was getting. Praise the Lord. The things which was not happening in our life, it was happening, fulfilling. Praise the Lord. When the time of praise and worship. So that all the ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful time which our God gave. When you are getting the time to start, open your YouTube or if you have the smartphone, open the worship song and sing together. Praise the Lord. After that, if you know, you sing by yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do always the praise and worship. This will be a glorious time which our God is giving to all the people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Now, this is another. Everybody, please raise your hand and see. Give a wonderful time to Ivanka Sumi from uh, Wales. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, thank you very much for the praise and worship. Let our God uh, bless you more and more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, another 20 minutes' time, Evangelist will be sharing the word of encouragement to the nations right now. From now on, we the 20 minutes' time. This will be a wonderful time. After that, I will be sharing the word of God. Praise the Lord. Healing and deliverance prayer. Finishing this session. Praise the Lord. God bless you. This session also, like yesterday, is a glorious session. Praise the Lord. Doesn't matter who is preaching the gospel. But always you have to think it over. The word of God, which is coming from the mouth, who are, the who are is preaching gospel, you have to think it over. We have to catch. We have to take the word of God, which is coming from their mouth. Praise the Lord. That word of God, if you are receiving that word of God as yours, it will come, that word of God, in your mind, in your heart, as a mighty power of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, all the ladies and gentlemen, pray for this session. We can pray one minute. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this session. Wonderful session, powerful session. Thank you for everybody. You are stretching out your hand to everybody. Let all the people receive this word of God as a mighty power of the Lord. I bless each one of them. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody one shout and say, Amen. Amen. So, Shake the Nation UK inviting Evangelist Suvi will be sharing the 20 minutes word of encouragement. Thank you very much, Evangelist. You are invited. Hallelujah. So wonderful to be able to share the word, a word of encouragement with you today. And today, you know, I just want to talk about prayer. I want to talk about tipping the prayer bowls of heaven. Hallelujah. You know, God said in Isaiah 56, 7, for my house will be a house of prayer for all nations. So God has commanded us to pray without ceasing. Jesus said, pray without ceasing. He said that we must watch and pray. You know, when 
Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. You know, he, um, he left the disciples in the garden and he went a stone's throw away and he went to pray and he said, Father, you know, if this cup may be taken away from me, please take it away. But if not, let your will be done. He knew what he was about to endure. Hallelujah. Amen. For you and for me, you know, the work that he did on the cross, because of what he done on the cross, we can receive the gift of eternal life. Amen. Jesus went to the cross for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have the gift of eternal life. But Jesus knew what he was about to go through. And he went to pray and he said, Father, may this cup be taken away from me. But if not, let this, let your will be done. And then he went back to find the disciples and he found them sleeping and he woke them up again. And he said, could you not pray with me for one moment? And then he went away again and he prayed again to the father. And he was, he he knew what he was about to endure, you know? Can you imagine? He was about to be nailed to the cross. His body was about to be broken. And the blood that he shed for you and me washes us clean. You know, he knew he came to earth to fulfill that purpose so that we could receive the gift of eternal life. But he also knew what it entailed. You know, we saw even though Jesus was fully God, yet he was fully human at the same time. He came to earth as man, amen? fully God and he come to earth as man. So he knew what he was about to endure and, it, and the word of God said that he was even sweating droplets of blood. And after praying, he went back to find the disciples sleeping and he said, watch and pray so that you do not fall into temptation. You see, the spirit is always willing, but the flesh is weak. So Jesus said that we must always watch and pray so that we do not fall into temptation. God is calling us to humble ourselves and pray. And as we pray, you know, God is calling an army. You know, I see a lot of, um, a lot of prayer groups are rising in the nations, especially in this time when people are turning to God more and more and people are praying to God more and more. And God is stirring up that spirit of intercession. And that's what we need right now in the earth. You know, we've always needed prayer, but right now God is calling an army to arise and pray. Jesus said to the disciples, and he also says to you and to me, pray without ceasing so that we do not fall into temptation. Amen. Your flesh might not feel like praying, but your spirit is always willing for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So your spirit is always willing. Amen. So God said, for my house shall be a house of prayer for all nations in Isaiah 56, 7. God commanded the priests to burn incense on the golden altar day and night. And you know, the incense represented the prayers of the saints. So the incense represented the prayers of saints. The beautiful fragrance of the incense was going up into heaven. It was being burnt on the altar day and night and it represented the prayers of the saints. So God desires our prayers. God takes delight in our prayers. You know, incense is a beautiful fragrance and our smell, our fragrance, our prayers are a beautiful aroma to God. Amen. Imagine your favorite fragrance or your favorite food and know how contenting that smells. Well, our prayers are like incense to God. Amen. And, and it, incense represents the prayers of the saints. And we can see the picture of prayers wafting up to heaven in David's psalm. In um, Psalm 1412, and also in, um, in John's vision in Revelation 5, 8 and 8, 5. Psalm 141 says, let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as the evening, evening sacrifice. Let my prayers be counted as incense before you. So if God commanded the um, priest to burn incense on the altar day and night, and that incense was wafting up to heaven. You know, the incense represents the prayers of the saints. And then we see in Revelation 5, 8, and when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and a golden bowl full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Amen. Revelation 8, 3 to 5 says, and another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer and he was given much incense to offer for the prayers of all the saints and the golden altar before the throne and the smoke of, of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. 
Then the angel took the censer, uh, censer with fire, he mixed it with fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were peals of thunder, rumblings, flashings of lightning and an earthquake. Hallelujah. So notice there are bowls in heaven. There's not one bowl, but there are multiple bowls. What if, you know, if there are multiple bowls in heaven, what if you have your own bowl and that bowl needs to be filled with the incense of God? Amen. That bowl needs to be filled with the incense of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Some connections uh, problem. Evans uh, will be joining soon at the earliest time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great, you are great, Lord, you are great, you are great. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before. Oh, my soul, and worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, and worship your holy name. Your aging love. And you're slow to anger. Your name is great. And your heart is kind. For all your goodness, I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to fight. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. And worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. And worship your holy name. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again. We are praying for, first of all, praying for the UK, all the UK and Europe, all the countries we are praying right now to come to know uh, Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. Let the world revival start. This is an intercession prayer. One or two minutes, we are going to pray right now. Heavenly Father, 
in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the UK and Europe and all the African countries. Let everybody, North and South America and Asian countries, everybody, let them come to know that Jesus Christ is the living God, their powerful Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray for each one of them, especially the people are in the street, the people are preaching the gospel, the people are delivering the word of God. The people are preaching the gospel to everybody. Heavenly Father, we are giving everybody in your hand. Thank you for your protecting them. Thank you for your taking care of them. Thank you for your giving uh, there. You are keeping in your glory. Heavenly Father, once again more, I pray for all the nations. Let everybody feel with more power and anointing. Let all the nations receive the Jesus Christ, the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Everybody receive the salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Now, this is a time to share the powerful word of God. Praise the Lord. The word of God, that means Jesus Christ is it. The word of God is the Jesus Christ is it. The word of God is the word which came from the mouth from the heavenly father. That is a word. That is what the Bible said in the beginning. There was a word. The word was with God. The word was God. Praise the Lord. The, 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 Jesus Christ came to this world. It is not accidentally. It was already written in the Bible. The prophet Isaiah already written the birth of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. After the death of Jesus Christ, everybody, all the people, they will be getting the healing and deliverance and salvation through Jesus Christ. Before the five, the birth of 500 years before prophet Isaiah prophesied, you are going to get the salvation. But the, 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 the righteousness, all the characters, those who are lived in the Old Testament, but they were waiting to get this glory. But they said, this glory, it was not for them. It was for Pastor Jolly and Pastor Mike, Yvonne Sue, and for everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. This glory manifested in this world for you and me. It was not for the Old Testament. It was not for the children of God, those who lived in the Old Testament. They were the, um, the servant of God. But Pastor Jolly, we are greater than Abraham. Pastor Mike, we are greater than Abraham. You are the Sue, we are greater than Abraham. Jacob and David, even the John the Baptist too, because we came to know the power of Jesus Christ. We are living by the grace of Jesus Christ. We are not at all living under the bondage of the law of Moses. We are free from the law of Moses. We are under the grace of God. Praise the Lord. This is what, when Jesus Christ came to this world, this is what Jesus Christ was preaching to this world. Bible says, Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ came to this world, Jesus Christ came to this world to fulfill the work of the Heavenly Father, which Heavenly Father given to them, given to him. That's what Jesus Christ said. I myself is not saying anything in my, uh, from my tongue. What I am seeing, the Father which abides in me, he is doing his work in me. Praise the Lord. He is doing his work from me. The Father in the heaven, the Heavenly Father, he was leading Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Bible says, that's what, during the time of Sabbath day, Jesus Christ was doing the healing the people. And helping the crippled person to get a healthy body. That means, in front of the Heavenly Father, all the seven days a week, 365 days a year, each and every fraction of second, each and every hour, it is important. It is precious one. It is like the same in front of the Heavenly Father. All the days are good in front of the Heavenly Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, the, all the days it was not good. But in the New Testament, in Jesus Christ, everything is good. In Jesus Christ, if you are the child of God, wherever you are putting your feet, that will be, there will be a glory in you. You will be getting a glorious touch from Jesus Christ. Just I want to read today's gospel, the gospel chapter 17, John chapter 17. Before we read John chapter 17, let me check up. The uh, voice is clear or not. Praise the Lord. Voice is clear. Praise the Lord. Before we read uh, John chapter 17, 
just I want to say, before the death of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was praying to the Heavenly Father to get the protection for you and me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. To get the protection for you and me. For what purpose Jesus Christ want to give the protection? The reason is, the will of God is, you have to live in this world for a long time. The will of God is, if you're living in this world, you should get the protection from the wicked one. We should get the protection from the devil. That Bible says, Gospel John chapter 17, verse uh, 1 says, Jesus Christ says, The Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you. Praise the Lord. As you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given to them, given to him. One thing, according to this uh, gospel message, Pastor Jolly can say to all the people, eternal life is not for everybody. Eternal life is the people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Eternal life you will be getting everybody if you are believing Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Born again. Born again. This is what Pastor Jolly, when I am preaching the gospel in the street, if you are not born again, you will not get eternal life. You will not get eternal life. The minimum qualification to go to heaven, you have to born again. We have to born again. You have to believe Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. All the ladies and gentlemen, all the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I want to say to all the people, sometimes you are thinking, or oh, you are Muslim, you are Hindu. Does it matter? Our God, Jesus Christ, died for everybody. Our God doesn't have any partiality. If you are believing in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sin, the day, the time, the moment, within a fraction of a second, you can reach in the kingdom of God. You will be getting eternal life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And verse 3 says, And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only to God and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Believe Jesus Christ, this is eternal life. They said, when I am preaching the gospel in the street, praise God. I will put a name board. When I am putting the name board, Jesus Christ serves us. The people are reading this name board. Sometimes, uh, in the day, the time, the moment, when the people are reading this name board, oh, Jesus Christ saves us. Through Jesus Christ, there is a salvation. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. When the day, the time, the moment, when you are reading this word of God, automatically, you are getting by default eternal life. Praise the Lord. Sometimes if you are saying from your mouth, Oh, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord. That's enough. You are the child of God. If you are the child of God, the book of John chapter 5 says, you are more than a conqueror. Wicked men cannot touch your body. You are more than a conqueror. That means you are more than a successful person. In other words, you are standing with the dominion power. The heavenly power already handed over to you when the time of born again and baptism. The heavenly power, the resurrection power, the power which Jesus Christ raised, which the heavenly father raised Jesus Christ from the dead to the life. The same resurrection power which our God abides in you. If you are the child of God, nobody can defeat you. Amen. Pastor Jolie say my example. So many years, my enemies are trying to destroy me. Praise the Lord. Why is Pastor Joel still alive here? Why is Pastor Joel is preaching the gospel here? Why is Pastor Joel is spreading the gospel here? Why is Pastor Joel is preaching the gospel in the TV? Because Pastor Joel is not looking at my enemies. This is the duty of my Lord to fight against my enemies, to protect me from the enemies, from my enemies. Praise the Lord. My duty is look at God, focus God, and preach the gospel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, Jesus Christ saying, I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. How many of the people can say, I have finished my work? 
How many of the people can say, I have finished my work? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul said, Apostle Paul said, what Apostle Paul said? Apostle Paul said, Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, 13 says, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching toward, forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Praise the Lord. Before the foundation of the world, Apostle Paul, he was the for God has kept a glory for a, a crown for you and me. Gospel John chapter 14, Bible says. Jesus Christ is going to heaven before you, before you and me, to prepare a place for you, a glorious place. In the heaven, you know that one. I'm thinking, how much more you are doing for God? The how much more our God will fill, our God will make a big house for you. This will be a palace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I'm reaching the heaven, then only we can come to know. Praise the Lord. In the heaven, there are lots of houses. Our God has built for you. The things where what you have done in this world, accordingly, our God will honor you. That's what the Bible said. I will honor you before the angels. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ said, I will honor you. I know your weakness. In your weakness, you have done. You didn't deny my word. You are preaching my God. So because of this reason, I will open a door for you. Because of this reason, I will, I will give a house for you here. Because of this reason, I will give you a better job. Because this reason, I will give you a better friends. Because of this reason, your spiritual level is going to get flourished. Because of this reason, your churches and you are going to get more souls. Because of this reason, your names are your names will be become great. Because of this reason, all the promises of the Lord, which our God has given to Abraham, Jacob, and David, all the promise of the Lord, which is coming to you. The reason is in your weakness. In your weakness. You haven't denied my word. Praise the Lord. Mm. You are. You did something for me. You did spread the evangelism. You, you are preaching the gospel um, in the social medias. You are praying for the sick. This is my commandment. The gospel, Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 says, go and preach the gospel to the nations. Don't look at anybody. Don't look at anybody's face. Mm. Don't look at your enemies. Yeah. Don't look at which is happening surroundings that our God will fight for them. Praise the Lord. Your duty Go for me. Your duty, do something for God. Your duty, seek his kingdom first. Later on, one by one, all the things will be added for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For your life and godliness, everything, whatever you need, our God can able to forward, provide you. Praise the Lord. When I pregnant came out from, the, uh, from his house, he left everything, his house, and all his friends and family members. Mm. He was believing God because of his faith. He was looking at Jesus Christ. He was looking at the word, the promise which he gave to him, the promise giver. He was the creator of the Lord. He was focusing his face. He was looking at his face. So all the finances, all his property, all his house, all his family members, he counted nothing. Praise the Lord. That because of this reason, he became the righteousness of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now Abraham is the believers, or oh father of all the believers. How it became? Without seeing anything, Abraham believed. Praise the Lord. Without seeing anything, Abraham believed so that he has, he has got a child. Praise the Lord. Child, he has got a child, Isaac. Praise the Lord. So all the people, all the brothers and sisters, if you are the child of God, maybe you are the point of death. Don't give up. Praise the Lord. Mm. Lots of people will uh, come against you. I know that one. When I start my street evangelism, I was alone. Lots of people in the social media. Somebody is putting my photo and, uh, um, and uh, um, saying against me. Praise the Lord. I was crying in the evening time when I came to my home. I was crying. Oh God, what happened? I, am, I was preaching to you, preaching your word. The end of the time is happening like that. Even though the, 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 the whole was the, the people which they criticized me, they were criticizing me. They were powerful people, praise the Lord, well known people. Because I myself started the ministry in the first time, initial stage. Then I prayed, when I asked one of the men of God, the people are saying, some people are saying something against me. They put something against me in the social media. What should I do? 
they told if anybody says something against you let it you worry that means you are such a powerful person that means you are growing the satanic words are so afraid against you praise the lord satanic words are so afraid about you praise the lord this is what if anybody says something against you is something happening against you praise the lord the satanic words are so afraid the reason is you are such a powerful person praise the lord in front of the world that is what the things are happening against your life bible says if anything is happening in your life our god is our protector nothing will be happening in your life i want to read book of psalms book of psalms uh, chapter 23 we can go back to book of psalms chapter 23 uh, where this uh, one on which jecha want to read see he leads me beside the still waters and he restores my soul he leads me in the path of the righteousness for his name say yeah though i walk through the valleys of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for the for you are with me jesus christ is with me heavenly father is with me his righteousness is we are the righteousness of the lord the power of the holy spirit is with me praise the lord hallelujah what men can do to you our god is our helper praise the lord hallelujah our god is my helper all the ladies and gentlemen of the gospel john chapter 17 our heavenly father Jesus Christ said through the heavenly father the glory which our god has given to me that this glory i am giving to you praise the lord this glory nobody can take away from you this glory is a everlasting glory this glory it was with me when the time of the creation of this world this glory it was with me when the time of dividing the red sea this glory was with me when the time the children of israel came and uh, came from egypt to the land uh, to the desert to the promised land the 40 years because of this glory because of this presence i was feeding them the heavenly manna last for 40 years i was giving them the nice meat last 40 years this glory that is what apostle paul said the christ is in you the hope of glory the glory is love the glory means nothing shall be impossible in your life everything is possible wherever you are touching your feet wherever you are touching your feet that place will be yours the people are watching here today the people are suffering to get the visa today you are watching today bible says your face will not get ashamed our god is my helper luke chapter 1 verse 37 says nothing shall be impossible with god with the god everything is possible come on everybody come on everybody with the jesus christ everything is possible with the jesus christ everything is possible today pastor jolly want to deliver this word of god to the nations in you through you the nations are going to get the blessings praise the lord jesus christ want to give his gospel message to all the people jesus christ want to heal the sick people uh, in this world only through you and me praise the lord without you jesus christ cannot do anything bible says bible says yeah um, i walk um, through the valleys of the water what is of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me praise the lord another thing jesus can you say he will prepare a table before me in the uh, presence of my enemies praise the lord jesus christ will honor you hope jesus christ will be honor you if you are preaching the gospel if you are doing something for god if you are obeying the commandment of god if you are the preacher if you are the man of god if you are the born again person bible says wherever you have received the fail a uh, failure wherever you thought you, you are the you are the failure jesus christ will take you back to that same place and jesus jesus christ will be showing to everybody will show to everybody you are the successful person from there our god want to raise you up today wherever you got the failure from there jesus christ want to raise you up today joseph in the old testament he was a carrot family members rejected him his brothers rejected him he went to um um, um, um uh, when his brothers rejected him brother sold him after that he was in the prison but he had a dream that dream from the heavenly father praise the lord one day i he will all the brothers will come and kneel down in front of him this was a dream if our god is giving any other dream to anybody i want to say this dream will fulfill in your life praise the lord 
Today, Pastor Jory is sitting here. Seven years before, I had a prophecy. The TV screen, my face will come. Praise the Lord. In the TV screen, my face will come. I thought this is an Indian TV, Kerala TV. But it was, it came in the UK TV. Praise the Lord, UK and Europe. After that, now it is coming in the Indian TV in Kerala. The promise of the Lord cannot be changed. Praise the Lord. If anybody is saying prophecy in you, that prophecy cannot be changed. Praise the Lord. Prophecy cannot be changed. Heaven and earth will get passed away, but my word, which is coming from my mouth, it will not get passed away. If our God is saying, you are more than a conqueror, that means wherever you are walking, you will see the victory. You can walk. Our God will help you to walk from glory to glory, from victory to victory. You will be a victorious person. The David, he was a shepherd boy because of few stones, he was defeating the king Dolia, Jir Dolia. The reason is the glory of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. It was with David, praise the Lord. The same thing, the book of Daniel, he was the mouth of the land, the glory of the Lord, the power of the Lord, it was with him. You know, in the book of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, when uh, they were in the burning fiery furnace, the glory of the Lord, the king Israel, king Nebuchadnezzar Israel, Testified, I'm seeing a fourth man. I'm seeing a fourth man. He's walking in the very fiery furnace. It looked like the son of man. How the king Nebuchadnezzar came to know that is a son of man. This is the revelation. Our God was revealing to the king Nebuchadnezzar. This is the son of man. This is the promise giver. This is the redeemer. This is the helper. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, Pastor Jolly wants to say to all the people, if you are the believer, if you are believing God, if you are trusting God, your neighbors will come to say, the neighbors will be getting a vision today. Your all the um, enemies will be getting a vision today. You are running, you are doing this gospel work, not by your hand, not by your effort, not by your flesh, but this is by my spirit. This is by my spirit. This is by my spirit. All the ladies and gentlemen, wake up today. Our God wants to do is such a greatest thing in your life. That's what Apostle Paul said. I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I press toward the goal uh, for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is what each and every persecution, Apostle Paul was thinking, oh, this is the glory of the Lord. This is a glorious thing which our God is doing in, in my life. But, so, all the ladies and gentlemen, all the brothers and sisters, praise Lord. In the persecution and rejections, praise Lord, it will not overcome you. You can overcome them. Praise the Lord. Pastor Jolie is saying, according to my experience, each and everything I'm saying, according to my experience. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. That's what the Bible says. I press toward the call uh, for the price of the award called of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because the reason is, Apostle Paul always saying, even though I'm sitting in this uh, world, even though I'm walking in the world, but I'm not from world. I'm not for world. I'm for heaven. That's what the Bible says. Our citizenship is in heaven. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. Our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. All the ladies and gentlemen, each and every day we have to think it over. Each and every day when situations are coming against you, in my inner eyes, we have to focus the things are going to come in in the future. Praise Lord. If you're sitting in the heaven, the heavenly things will be happening in you. If you're sitting in the heaven, the heaven will protect you. If you're sitting in the heaven, yeah. the Jesus Christ will guide you. If you're sitting in the heaven, nothing will be happening in your life. You will be a successful person in your life. You will get a job. You will get a better life here. You will get a better financial breakthrough here. You will get a healthy body here. Wherever you walk, you will be a walking a victorious, as a victorious person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to say to all the people, because the uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4 says, book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 says, that's what Bible says, um, rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice. Again, I will say rejoice. Rejoice in Lord. Be happy always. Be not, uh, be, uh, don't get 
drama and any of the disappointment don't give anything be anxious not be, don't give any of the disappointment in your mind always rejoice always even though if you are midst of the ship rejoice give thanks praise lord even though you don't have money to pay rent in your house rejoice and give thanks to lord praise lord whenever you are doing like that the god will help you the god will help you god will multiply you whenever whenever you are trusting in god that means the hope of god will lead you praise the lord kelly when the hope of god is coming when the hope of god is coming in your heart the second time you will be getting a miracle in your life praise, praise the lord miracle you will be getting in your life without the hope there is no miracle without the hope there is no miracle that's what apostle paul he was in the midst of the ship but he was having the hope the god which he sent me he will deliver me i had a revelation the last night the not only me but those who are in the ship your life will be saved by the hands of lord you were you are not going to perish but you are getting the protection from the lord this is the revelation you will be getting from the lord praise lord if you are the child of god walk by faith running by faith that's what hebrew chapter 1 verses 11 verses 1 says without the faith we cannot please god praise lord without the place of faith we cannot please god if you are believing god if you want to get something today from god only one thing you have to do we have to walk by faith this god can able he is able he can do it he can do it he is a miracle worker he is a el shaddai praise god we have to believe accordingly he is a promise giver he if he gets did if our god did anything in the past life the last year the one year before in the old testament the same god the same god can do the same miracle in your life praise the lord hallelujah all the people all the ladies and gentlemen i want to say to all the people nothing to worry anything about your life if our god is for us who can stand against you praise the lord if our god is for us who can stand against you the devil cannot stop cannot block your growth the spiritual growth the devil cannot block your spiritual growth in your life the devil cannot block your family life to get a flourish in your life the devil cannot block to get your promises of lord bible says the book of isaiah says chapter 45 we can read book of isaiah chapter 45 isaiah chapter 45 verses 2 says the powerful word of god i like this word of god i will go before you and make a crooked places straight and i will break in pieces the gates of bronze praise god the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron our god can do a mighty things for you the enemy which you are going to see in your life you cannot see them tomorrow but you will be here you will be walking from victory to victory today and tomorrow day after tomorrow you will be here praise the lord hallelujah so all the ladies and gentlemen rejoice in lord that's what apostle paul said he was getting the revelation from holy spirit all this he was getting the revelation apostle paul said i'm not preaching the gospel according in the word of god which is written in the bible i am preaching the gospel i am preaching the gospel by the revelation which our heavenly father is giving in my life praise the lord so that i want to encourage to all the people your gospel should be your experience in christ jesus your gospel should be your experience in christ jesus so today our you have already received a miracle from god you are in the uh, in the point of the death because of this reason when you believe jesus christ you could come out from your death you are not having job because when you come to know jesus christ now you are having the job praise lord you have got the job your financial setup is all right praise lord you got a family life you got children your children are educated praise lord you are living in corona virus lots of people are got died in this world lot of people they got perish but you are you are past jolly we all are still alive by the grace of god so because of this reason we can rejoice in god because of this reason we can give thanks to god because of this reason this is our experience we can glorify our god to differ of us whenever you are getting time we can uh, we can give the praise and worship to god when our we are giving the praise and worship our god will honor you everybody please raise your hand that's what bible said i want to say the gospel john chapter 17 gospel john chapter 17 um, verses 26 uh, verses um, verses 26 
Jesus Christ saying, verse 22, verse 22 uh, Gospel chapter 17, verses 22 says, and the glory which you gave to me, I have given to them. Praise the Lord. The glory which you, have, which you gave to me, I have given to them, that they may be one, just as we are one. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they are one. Praise God. Bible says, you know that one, the, the heavenly mystery, that means when the time of born again, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity is which abides in you. Praise the Lord. The Trinity is abides in you. Praise the Lord. That is what Jesus Christ said, I am in the Father. The Father is in me. I am in you. Praise the Lord. Nobody can take uh, you away from my hand because the Father which he has, he has given to me that he is uh, um, the Father he gave you and me in the hands of Jesus Christ he is greater than everything in this world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of this reason the devil cannot steal you. Praise the Lord. From the hands of Jesus Christ. You are protected in the hands of Jesus Christ. You are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So today, all the ladies and gentlemen, rejoice in Lord. Today, even though you are working in the darkness situation today, your tomorrow's life will be a glorious life. You forget it about your jobless today. Forget it about the situation which is coming against your life today. You will be a glorious person. You will be a victorious person. Forget it about the failures which you are seeing today. You will be a victorious person in crisis. I want to pray for you. Everybody, please raise your hand. Just I want to sing one song right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. All the day long, perfect submission, perfect delight, vision so bright, now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above, born of his spirit, washing his blood. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior. All the day long. The Spirit of God is moving right now. So you can sing one more time. The power of the Lord is moving right now. To everybody's heart right now. The people are receiving the healing right now. Receive the. You can sing together. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. All the day long. This is my story. This is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior all the day long. Praise the Lord. This is the time to receive the prayer right now. The healing and deliverance prayer. The people are watching online, please raise your hand. Pastor Jolly want to pray for you right now. Praise the Lord. Please, the sick people, please lay your hand on your head. I want to pray for you. Our God wants to heal you right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for each one of them. I pray for all the people. The people are watching online. The people are here in this word of God, Father. The people are in the point of the death. The people are struggling in their life. Father, this should be their story to receive the healing and experience from you right now, Father. Like Apostle Paul said, I preach the gospel with According to, the, according to the experience which you had given to them, which you, had, which you gave to him, like all the people, let them preach the gospel today. This is the end of time salvation, Father. Let everybody receive the healing. Because of this reason, they will get an experience to give the testimony to the world. Heavenly Father, I bless all the people 
I cast out all the sickness from the body. The people are suffering any of the sickness power. Let everybody receive the healing in Jesus' name. I cast out the spirit of a sickness from their body. In Jesus' name, go out right now. In Jesus' name, I cast out the spirit of sickness from their body right now. Go out right now. In Jesus' name. I plus each one of them. The people are especially uh, doing something for gospel work. The people are preaching the gospel in the street. The people are preaching the gospel in, in and out. I bless each one of them right now, Father. Give them protection. Like Psalms 23, like Psalms, uh, Psalms 91, you are giving the protection to all the people. Psalms 23, Psalms, book of Psalms uh, 20, so 91, you are giving the protection. You are the protector, Father. Thank you for your sending. Thank you for your sending your protection to all the people, those who are doing the gospel work in and out. Heavenly Father, once again more, I bless each one of them. The people, those who are waiting to get something from you, I bless each one of them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody will shout and say, Amen. 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 Thank you very much. The people, I don't know what all the healing happened, okay? Shake your body and mind, okay? You will be getting a testimony because Pastor Jory preached the gospel. Pastor Jory has preached the gospel. It is not by my effort. It is not by my flesh. It is by the Spirit of God. By God. If it is the Spirit of God, the book of Zechariah says, here will be happening. If it is by my Spirit, the deliverance will be happening because the Word of God is the power of the Lord. It is not the Spirit of fear. It is the Spirit of power, love, and sound mind. By God. The miracle healing will be happening in your life. So God bless you. Today, preacher could not join, but Pastor Jolie can do everything in God's name. In Jesus' name, I can do everything. I didn't prepare anything. The Holy Spirit was leading to me. Praise the Lord. Even though today I can preach even one or two hours. Doesn't matter. Because God is my heavenly father. God is my father. I can do everything. Praise the Lord. So that I bless everybody in Jesus' name. Tomorrow morning, Pastor Jody again be preaching in the morning session. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Praise the Lord. This will be translating in the Punjabi language. In the Hindi language. Praise the Lord. God bless you abundantly. Praise the Lord. Please watch online. And tomorrow, I will be preaching again in the street. And the day time, in the evening time, again, there will be um, the World Gospel Revival. This is a uh, for 250 days, nearly 40 days are nearly reached. Every day, we are doing, we were doing this Gospel Revival every day. 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. time. By the grace of God, we are continuous. We are doing tomorrow. One of the pastors is preaching from California, USA, and also worship is joining from the USA. Praise Lord. God bless you. Keep watching this uh, gospel revival and keep watching online in the TV. Every Wednesday, Pastor John is preaching the Faith the World TV through the Sky Channel 589 platform in UK and Europe. Praise Lord. In uh, Europe, you can watch Astra Satellite. Every Thursday, Pastor Jolly, by the grace of God, I'm preaching the gospel in the Indian TV, in the Harvest TV, 6.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Indian time, in UK time, 1 p.m. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm rejoicing God. Our God is doing such a great thing for you. So, God bless you. Thank you very much. Please keep me in your prayer. God bless you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus.